Hi, Ben Valines, uh, Grower Success Manager for Gus Automation. Um, at Gus, I kind of put the puzzle pieces together between our production line, our IT guys, um, our dealers, help customers get started on the right foot, make sure everything is ready to go. By the time units get to field, make sure customer has training, dealers have training, so that way everyone can start off the right way. So um, we're standing next to would be kind of our flagship, what we started with, which is Orchard Gus. Um, 600 gallon orchard sprayer, um, fully autonomous, four wheel drive, four wheel steer, uh, kind of Cadillac, it's kind of all the best components. Um, very overbuilt machine. Um, every machine that's out there is uh, still running. So a lot of customers come back and have started with four, now have eight. Those who had eight now have 12. So uh, it's been a very, very successful machine. Um, but this unit here is kind of the big boy. So this is gonna be more for nut crops. So you're looking almonds, walnuts, pistachios, pecans, um, all of those crops. So customers who are in somewhere where this guy's not gonna fit are obviously gonna run towards Mini Gus, um, which is new for last year. So Mini Gus is gonna be four foot shorter, um, two feet narrower and a foot shorter height wise. So uh, you do give up a little bit of capacity. You've got 400 gallons versus 600 gallons, um, but obviously you're not gonna fit this guy in a vineyard without it's just not going to work. So, um, so that's our second product line. We also have a herbicide unit coming out, which is based on this platform. So you'll have a 600 gallon herbicide sprayer. Uh, that unit is going to have um, the option to have weed it sensors on it. So you'll have nine weed it sensors. Um, so you're looking maybe spraying 60 gallons on a tank by using weed it. So weed it's nice because it sprays just the weeds, so you don't have to strip spray. So you use a lot more chemical, lot less chemical going that way. Um, refill it less, cover more ground. Um, you know, efficiency is is where it's at. So, um, which is kind of another area where Gus shines. Um, you know, we take a lot of the uh, user error out of spraying. So one, it's nice because you don't have a guy on a tractor that's going to be around the chemicals. So we take him out. He's in a pickup uh, with a laptop. Uh, most common we see is we'll see uh, one operator with a pickup and a laptop. Uh, monitoring four gusses, you can do up to eight. Um, but the kind of the sweet spot is we'll see an operator, four gusses, and then we'll see like a 2,400 gallon nurse truck that will nurse them. Um, so Gus is gonna stop when it gets to a refill point. Nurse truck plugs in, machines are mobilized. Um, there's actually multiple safety features that will make it sure the machine doesn't move. Um, refill times could be three minutes or less. And then he hits resume and bam, he keeps spraying. So. You can really cover a lot of ground. Uh, your speed is always the same. Your application rate's always the same. There's really, there's no room for error. So a lot of our software makes it so you can't double spray. So you're not gonna accidentally spray the same row twice, or you're not gonna overlap sprayers. And this sprayer already sprayed here, and that one does the same thing. So we've got a lot of technology built in where um, pretty much every turn you're picking up efficiencies, you're getting more precision. Um, and then obviously being able to sit in a pickup with heat and AC is a lot nicer than being on a tractor doing you know two and a half miles an hour, row after row after row. So uh, hugely successful product. Um, Orchard Gusses, we've got about 165 of these out now. Uh, so we're, Orchard Gusses are gonna be a lot in Central California. We've got these in Florida, in Australia, um, down in Arizona, and then Mini Gus is gonna be mostly Pacific Northwest. Um, so we've got some up there in Apples, in Oregon and Washington. Um, and then obviously Central California, we're gonna have those in vineyards down here too. So, um, but that's kind of the gist of the company. So we've been selling since 2019. So uh, we've been in it, we've been doing it. Um, the first 10 units that they hand built, they built for themselves. And those units are all still out spraying. So they're uh, definitely an overbuilt machine. You're not gonna, you're not gonna hurt it. So um, they're, they're built to last. So, so most of our dealers right now um, are gonna be John Deere dealers. So uh, we're kind of slowly adding more dealers in. There's, you know, there's no reason to add 100 dealers and not be able to get machines out. We built two a week right now. So um, our dealers are kind of, you know, we're putting them in strategic locations where um, you know, the, the market is gonna, you know, where those customers are gonna be at that are gonna utilize these machines. So obviously, you're not going to have a 50 acre grower going to go buy an autonomous sprayer. So, um, but it's mostly John Deere dealers and all our dealers, we train them to be self-sufficient. Um, so dealers right now are in um, all the states where the machines are at. So we've got dealers 
up and down California, um, Pacific Northwest, so Oregon, Washington. Uh, we have a dealer in Florida, and we have a dealer in Arizona, and we have a dealer in Arizona too. So, so kind of everywhere where machines are at, um, we make sure there's a dealer there to support those customers. I feel like um, you know, with as many units as we have out, and return customers, and the success rate that we're seeing customers, and how successful our dealers have been, um, I we're just going to keep growing. So. Five years from now, we may be, hey, we have you know 2,000 units out or whatever it happens to be. We'll have an orchard gust, you know, we'll have a mini gust. Our herbicide prototype's gonna be here. Um, who knows what else will be after that? We have a mini herbicide or something electric or you know, who knows? So definitely our focus is on um, kind of the high value crop stuff. So you're gonna see you know, nuts and fruits and vineyards. Um, I don't see us branching out into like real crop stuff. So um, definitely we're going to concentrate on what our bread and butter is, which is a lot of the high value stuff. So that's kind of where, where we want to be, where we want to serve growers. That's kind of where, um, the need is. So that's where we want to serve.